Hi everybody, Nemeth here with another quick video tutorial. This time on how to straighten a wireframe fly bar as are commonly found on a lot of Chinese import model helicopters. Uh, these fly bars, like this one, are essentially just a piece of wire with some weights on the end of it. Due to the way they're constructed, it is very easy for these to get bent. A simple blade strike that stops things and their own weight will stop them, will cause them to bend. This one I just hit on a tree and straightened. As you can see, it's very close to perfectly straight. Uh, bottom line, what we're going to do is we're going to use this. This is a common, ordinary, everyday blade balancing tool. Typically, there would be a pin here that the blades go on, and then everything would pivot like this for you to balance. Uh, in this case, we're going to use these rollers as a means to uh, look for the low spot. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take one side or the other of the uh, fly bar and bring the core right close to the to the wall so that you can get it very close and you're going to look right in this area here what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the center part straight so that it rolls true and you're going to look for the low spot here now this blade is already straight so we're not going to really be able to find a low spot too easily so I'm going to put a little bit of a bend in it like so and All right, maybe not enough of a bend. There we go. Put a little bit of a bend in it. There you can see it's got a bend. And we're going to watch the area right here. We're trying to get this part so that it's running true and there's no wobble there. Now as you watch it, you'll be able to see where the low spot is. Now don't pay any attention to this end yet. You're going to pay attention to right here because you're looking for the low spot that you can see there. When you find that, you give it a little bit of a tweak and keep trying until you get it to the point where that center section is rolling true. Now in many cases the nature of the way these bend is usually they bend right in this area and once you have this area straight you've got most of the uh, bends taken care of. As you can see we're very close. And as you work with this you'll realize just how little it takes to bend these and that's how little it takes to bend them and how little it takes to straighten them. Now we're looking really close right there, very close in fact. Now we're going to move over to this side, check this side. Now we didn't do any bending on here so that's really close of course. Now we're looking really good. That's very close to perfect. Now what you're going to do is you're going to turn it sideways like this and you're going to eyeball down the, down the shaft itself and look for any bends in the middle. We really don't have any to speak of here. We're really very close to true. This is really good. These uh, helicopters really don't have a lot of toler close tolerances. You can get away with a tiny little bit of bend. In fact, I've had brand new ones that weren't as straight as this. So next, we're going to move on to balancing. Here, I'm just going to put a pin through here to act as a pivot. And then a couple of flat surfaces 
set them parallel to each other and just close enough that the pin can rest just like so and bam there we have we're balancing right now now as you can see this one has some weight over here that I soldered on I did that when I first got it because it was quite a bit out of balance uh, that's my preferred method is to add weight other people prefer to subtract weight from the heavy side in this case this was the light side and this was the heavy side uh, so I added material here to make this side heavier and match this side the other solution you can do of course is take the heavy side which is the side that's going that's down and grind a little bit off the end of it and grind a little bit off the end of it until you get it to balance too whatever it takes just get these to balance because these can really make everything shake and vibrate and that will also affect your uh, gyros uh, that's pretty much it thank you for looking and uh, hope to catch you at the next one Nemeth out